Hello YouTube, uh, Luke here again, next uh, video, deck recipe and profile for Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Jewels, this was another requested deck, uh, as always, you know, gameplay will be in the description, but yeah, this is the Crystal Beast deck. So for the 16 monsters, so 3 Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, 1 Amethyst Cat, 1 Ruby Carbuncle, 3 Sapphire Pegasus, 3 Topaz Tiger, 3 Kikido Kage, and 2 Summoner Monk, 17 Spells, 3... Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, 1 Book of Moon, 1 Crystal Abundance, 1 Crystal Beacon, 2 Crystal Promise, 3 Crystal Release, a Dark Hole, 3 Mystical Space Typhoon, and 2 Rare Value. And got, uh, what have we got? 7 Traps, 3 Phoenix Chain, 2 Horn of the Phantom Beast, Solemn Warning, and Torrential Tribute. Extra deck is Abyss Dweller, Digusto Emerald, Diamond Direwolf, Ibigishki Mirror Guys, Fairy King Alvaditch, Gaga Cowboy, Gem Knight Pearl, Ghost Recala Card, King of the Feral Imps, Lightning Chidori, Black Ship of Corn, Photon Papal Operative, Steel Swarm Roach, Tem Tempo, the Percussion Chin, and Wind Up Zen Main. Just basically lots of rank 4 stuff and a couple of rank 3s. Uh, start for the Crystal Beast Monsters. Uh, now, when another. This is Amber Mammoth. When another face up Crystal Beast Monster you control is target for an attack, you can make this card the attack target instead. So it like, diverts attacks to itself. Now, every Crystal Beast card, if it's a uh, face-up and destroyed in a monster card zone, you can place it in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. Uh, Amethyst Cat's effect is you, this card can attack your opponent directly, but it, if it uses this effect, any battle damage that inflicts your opponent is halved. Same again. If they're being destroyed. Uh, so yeah, that one just it can inflict... Um, it's uh, the I, I had a one because you never know. You might be able to use that its effect to win a game. Uh, Ruby Carbuncle is when this card is special summoned, you can special summon as many Crystal Beast cards as possible from your spell and trap card zone. So it's actually a pretty good card. I only had him at one as well. Uh, just basically, you fill up your spell and trap card zone, you summon this guy, and yeah, you can special summon all your monsters that are on there. Uh, the main card of the deck. Uh, Sapphire Pegasus. Now, when this card is summoned, you can place one Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card. So yeah, he he is your main combo piece. Just um, putting your cards into your spell and trap card zone. Helping the combos late. Uh, Tobas Tiger. If this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 400 attack during the damage step only. So yeah, so if it attacks, it goes up to 3,000 during the damage step. So that's why I have him in there. Kigeto Kage is, cannot be normal summoner set. When you normal summon a level 4 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card cannot be used as a secret material monster, basically. Uh, lots of rank 4 plays. Uh, summoner Monk cannot be tributed. Uh, when this card is normal or flip summon, change this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell card. Special summon a level 4 monster from your deck, that, but that monster cannot attack this turn, so uh, you use him to bring out uh, Sapphire Pegasus. Mostly. Uh, so if you get him first turn, put Sapphire Pegasus on the thing first turn, you can start your combo plays off. Plus you've got 17 spells for the, in your deck, so sometimes you don't need them all. Uh, Ancient City of Rainbow Ruins, you must have this many Crystal Beast cards in your Spell and Trap card zone to activate and resolve these effects. So yeah, it has five different effects depending on how many is in your Spell and Trap card zone. One, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Two or more, or one or more, so, so one or more, yeah, or two or more is now once per turn, including the opponent's, including the opponent's turn. Yeah, you can halve the battle damage you take. That's um, pretty good. Three during either player's turn, when a spell or trap card is activated, you can send one Crystal Beast monster you control to the graveyard to negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. So that's not a bad one either. Uh, four once per turn during your main four or more. I should keep saying all more. Uh, during your main phase, you can draw one card. So draw more cards. Five or more. Once per turn during your main phase, you can target one Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap card zone. Special summon that target. So this card um, is yeah, really good. Uh, Book of Moon is standard. Uh, crystal Abundance, it's just a game winning condition, really. It's now send four Crystal Beast cards from your spell and trap card zone to the graveyard. Send all other cards on the field to the graveyard, then special summon as many Crystal Beast monsters as possible from your graveyard, up to the number of cards your opponent controlled uh, that were sent to the graveyard by this card's effect. So if your opponent has a full field, you know, you can summon four or five monsters and just, you know, win the game instantly. It's, it's a winning card, basically. 
Crystal Beacon, special summon one Crystal Beast monster from your deck. You must have two or more Crystal Beast cards in your Spell and Trap card zone to activate and resolve this effect. So it's uh, pretty good as well. I just had it on one as well. Now, Crystal Promise, target one Crystal Beast card in your Spell and Trap card zone, special summon that target. So it uh, just depends what you want to do. Ruby Carbuncle is pretty good, or maybe you want to do Sapphire Pegasus again. Uh, crystal Release, equip only to a Crystal Beast monster, it gains 800 attack. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can place one Crystal Beast monster from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card. So, not only the 800 attack, but if they destroy that Crystal Beast monster, you actually get two in your spell and trap card zone because you get the monster. And you also get this effect to send one to put one in your deck. So, it's from your deck, isn't it? Yep, in, um, from your deck. Dark Hole, normal, uh, three bits of space typhoon, pretty normal. Uh, rare value, if there are two or more face-up Crystal Beast cards in your Spell and Trap card zone, your opponent chooses one Crystal Beast card in your Spell and Trap card zone, and sends it to the graveyard, and then you draw two cards, so it's an okay thing to get. Not a bad card to get a couple extra cards if you want. I didn't really run it at three, I didn't want to, uh, didn't really want to draw it too much. It's only used when you really need it, to be honest, I think. Oh, that's what I found anyway. Um, so traps, three Phoenix Chain. Uh, negate monster effects. Uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Now target one Beast or Beast Warrior monster you control. We've got plenty of Beasts in this deck. Now equip this card to that target. It gains 800 attack. Also when the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster layout or sends it to the graveyard, draw a card. So not only 800 attack again, but you get to draw a card for each monster it destroys. Uh, Solemn Warning and Torrential for protection, staples, um, extra deck as I said before, just rank 4, a lot of rank 4s and a couple of rank 3s, nothing too special about it, um, but anyway, that's the Crystal Beast deck that was requested, as I said, uh, gameplay will be in the description, anyway, until next time, uh, thank you all for watching and see you again soon.